I've got gravel here today and a loader. And right now I'm putting this geotextile fabric in the, the footer that I dug to uh, keep the, the dirt out and uh, sediment and stuff out of the, the gravel so that the footer stays clean and uh, water can, can percolate out. Um, I bought a small roll of fabric. It's only two feet wide, um, but the, the bigger rolls were huge and hundreds of dollars more expensive. And this was the smallest, cheapest roll. It should, should last for the whole house. Um, it was only $78 only, I guess. But um, what I have to do is staple it all together. So that's a pretty painstaking part. You'll see that I'm here where I've stapled it all together. You could sew it together, but, uh, or buy a bigger roll. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm taking this and laying it here over the footer and then after I do that I'll take that gravel and dump it in here on the back side um, yep we'll see how far we get today I thought I might pull the fabric down as I dumped that gravel in there, but it didn't pull it too much. Um, those two pieces are, are separate. They're not stapled. And so that opened up. I'll just drape a few pieces over there, um, over that exposed dirt. Um, obviously I'm not going to build my house flush against this wall here. The house, the walls will come straight up and there will be several inches between um, the subsoil and, and the walls. And I'm not sure exactly how I'll do that, but I think I'm going to use a, a vapor barrier or basically plastic um, against the walls and then gravel between this fabric and that vapor barrier. I think I'll dump gravel in there um, to keep any moisture from wicking into the walls. Although I might not even use a vapor barrier um, because when you use vapor barriers like plastic, yeah, it doesn't let any water through, but then on, on the other side, you, you're not allowing your wall to breathe. Um, so I'm not sure exactly, but that looks pretty good. I didn't drive off that cliff at least. So I'll keep going here. That's good enough for now. Uh, yeah, it's 
took for probably three or four hours to staple all that fabric together. About three or four minutes to dump the gravel. Okay, never mind what I said about this roll lasting uh, for the whole footer. It's already finished and I'm not even halfway done yet. I used a lot of fabric there on that dug inside, a lot more than I figured. Um, hopefully one more roll will do it because we don't have to go up a wall here. Uh, like this part here, for example, this should, shouldn't take much fabric. So I need to call and order another roll and that'll have to wait until I get Okay, it's been a few days and I'm next to the pipe here, the drain pipe. Um, this is three inch pipe and I've insulated it and it's going to run through the rubble trench out of the house to drain water. And then uh, here is our, our supply pipe. And that's a uh, one inch pipe. Um, that's flexible, so I didn't need an elbow. This one has an elbow down here and I'll show you the rest of it. That's what it looks like. Um, the, this rubble trench is about 80% full of gravel behind me here. It needs to be filled yet. Um, and most of it's been sort somewhat leveled. You can see there the, the spirit level I've been using. Um, I'll go through and do that a little more precisely after I get the rest of this gravel in here. Around this pipe, I've placed sand and I'm really trying to wiggle that pipe to make sure the sand gets under there and, and supports it. Uh, the flexible one would bend a little, but the big drain pipe is rigid. Um, yeah, then those run down slope and I'll figure out what to do with those later. I'll just so now I'm going to uh, grab the, the loader, jump in the loader, which is here, and go get gravel. I ordered the second truck of, of gravel, so so far it's been about 19 tons, and I'd say I've used probably used about half of it. Um, so I'm in good shape. Although I will need more gravel later for the stem wall, which will be the first layers of bags will be filled with gravel, probably the first two or three layers. Um, and then I will also use gravel on my subfloor here, and then I'll have a, a natural floor.
Now I want to make sure these are well seated and I'm going to tamp them eventually. I'll tamp this whole trench, but I don't want to wiggle it. And that's what the sand was for, uh, was to get in there and provide, to really fill all those spaces and provide better support for the pipe. Uh, this is the main, the main uh, drainage ditch, I guess you could call it for the whole rubble trench um, on this side. This also slopes downhill in case water does decide to come out that way. So I suspect water from this side, um, sort of right there, the slope changes um, and, and runs this way. And then somewhere in here, it changes to this side and runs this way. So it's got two spots to run out here. Um, although that's not the purpose of this and that's that's for the pipes. So this one's a little bit wider and deeper. Um, it did collapse quite a bit there where I was. That's why I've been careful. I don't want to drive too close to the trench unless I've already backfilled it with gravel because it'll collapse like that. Um, especially here where a lot of this has not settled. This is sort of the trouble area right here on this downhill side where the rest of it from oh you can see right here where where the slope um, right there where that big flat rock is and then the rest of it sort of come out from from our excavation uh, the rest is dug in and that's solid but this is on this side is not solid that's going to settle over time um, although I, I hope I dug down deep enough here to hit the subsoil that, that, uh, instead of backfill, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did, um, so that this won't settle underneath the house. Well, that didn't work, so I'll just dump the gravel here and shovel it in by hand. Um, and then I'll leave just a little bit there, that'll be fine. I'm finally finished, or almost finished. Um, I'm going to leave that last from right there to where that gravel is. I haven't graded and tamped it yet, but all the rest of this has been uh, graded, leveled, and then compacted or tamped and yeah it took longer than expected but it always does and i'm hungry so i'm gonna stop the video here i'm leaving these piles of earth because those will be part of the walls um, over there by my car are the earth bags there's a thousand earth bags in that bundle or polypropylene bags that i'll fill with earth the next step is is to fill those bags with gravel and uh, the first two two maybe three layers will be gravel bags double bagged and those will act as a break between the, the trench and the foundation and the wall to keep moisture from wicking up into the into the earth wall the gravel um, obviously won't allow moisture to travel up it and that's one reason that a lot of natural builders use rubble trenches and gravel because if you use concrete, um, it will wick moisture. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your positive feedback and comment on these videos if you've ever built like this or if you're thinking about building. I don't know why people watch. I don't. I have friends and family who watch that's a, a few people but I don't know if people are watching these videos because they want to build um, do natural building or if it just looks interesting or have you done this before um, are you looking for 
specific information, do you have specific questions or advice? I'd be... All right, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.